Boho Collective, it is very like a boho theme. Um, that has always been my personal style. It's been kind of hard to find um, with me growing up in Southwest Virginia or even Bristol. Um, I always had to order mostly online and couldn't buy anything local. So that's why I came up with more of a boho style store. And Collective is just because I collectively have 15 individuals in here that help create that um, type thing. And I want it to be more of like a lifestyle store. Well, I found this location since I own a business on the Virginia side. I spend a lot of time um, strolling actually down to the mailbox to drop off mail and things of that sort. So when I was walking by, I noticed this location has been empty for quite some time, you know, well over a year. And then when I decided um, to expand and I wanted to about a year and a half ago, I started researching buildings. And then at that point, this one was still empty. I love the location of it. It's in close proximity to my other one. And then having Bloom and some of the other restaurants nearby, I knew this was the location for me. We have clothing, but besides clothing, we have so much more than that. You, we have live plants, we have handmade macrame stuff, handmade crochet, and then I also have a lot of eco-friendly products that I'm wanting to continue to expand on. That way we can make a difference in our footstep here by having more reusable products. So we have like our wool balls that cut down on um, how long you have to dry your clothing um, and things of that sort. We have reusable like um, dish scrubbies, face wash pads, um, and then like our hair combs and other products of that is made out of bamboo instead of plastic to cut down on that as well. Because the small, I have 15 makers inside of this store, but they have um, made things that are a little different than that's in my other locations and they have done it to tailor more to that boho type look. Um, so like the crochet lady, she does our face scrubbies and our dish scrubbies, but now she's doing like mushroom car charms and mushroom pillows and things of that sort, which she has never tapped into before here. So um, with this, I'm giving my current makers in my other locations a broader horizon and they're making things that they never had before and tapping more into their talents by doing so. Um, we also are adding classes in. Um, we have a succulent class that is coming up on Earth Day. Um, that with the lady who does the live plants here will be having a class where you come and you pick out your own pot and your own plant and get to plant it all. Um, we'll be doing those about once or twice a month. And then we have like a permanent jewelry lady coming at least once a month and several other things that we're gonna tap into. I came up with that concept because I wanted to open a small business for my own boutique. And then when researching buildings and then you add in cost of all the other overhead expenses, it's outrageous. It's very hard for someone to start a small business. So I came up with the idea of not only do I not want to fill this much space because all the buildings downtown are huge, how about I include other small businesses and then that cost is split up to, you know, space to start as much as $25 a month. You cannot get your stuff in a storefront for $25 a month. So we started off by doing that where everyone shares the cost and then it makes it affordable for all of those businesses that couldn't do it on their own. I've tailored into like a new clientele that I never had before with my other businesses. There's been a lot of younger individuals that are in high school or college shopping here. And then we have people that are much older and they say it reminds them when they were young in the 70s. So it's, it's a whole array. There's not just one group of people that we're tailored to here. We are open seven days a week, actually. Um, on Sunday and Monday, it is 12 to four and then Monday through Thursday, 11 to 5.30, and Friday and Saturday, the weekends is 11 to six. Um, you can find us on Instagram or Facebook right now, and that is at Shop Boho Collective. We have several things already in the works. Um, we will be doing an online website because I've had several people already purchase things, which you can do off Facebook or Instagram, but we wanna have everything uploaded where you can just click and shop.